Well, good Tuesday to you. It's Dan. <laughs> I want to welcome y'all to my home in the sticks. Lord of mercy. Hope everybody's having a wonderful Tuesday. But you remember that solar system that I had, or I tried, in that feed shed? Well, you know what? We're going a different direction. So give me a second, and I'm going to show you what I'm finna to do. <laughs> let's go got a couple of things in the mail one and two what I ended up doing was that little solar light panel and the light setup I ended up shipping that back to Amazon because it just wasn't working we're gonna do a little a little unboxing and I'm gonna show you what I done did <clears throat> all right the first one look at him Renergy okay what I have here is, and I did a couple of weeks worth of research, what I found was this right here. This is a Renogy. Thirty watt solar panel. And this is the the monocrystalline panel. Supposedly it's supposed to have supposed to take in sunlight better uh, at low light. So we're going to see what happens. It also came with the, I believe they're called MC4 connectors, which is pretty cool. Also comes with some like pigtails, I guess that's what that is. And it also came with a 10 amp charge controller. Nothing special. It's just a 10 amp charge controller. Now, <clears throat> I actually ended up finding this on Amazon. It's actually kind of like a package deal. It's kind of like the 30, the 30 watt monocrystalline starter kit. And what I'm gonna do is, we'll open up this other box, which will lead me into telling you what I'm finna do. What is in this box is some DC, LED lights. I think this is like 52 inches. And as you can see right here, it's got the red and the black. I don't know how many LEDs. One, two, three, four, five, six. 30 LEDs. What I'm planning on doing is I'm going to use the 30 watt solar panel. It has a charge controller. I'm probably going to hook that charge controller up to a, I don't know, Maybe a 12 amp hour battery. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research on that. I'm still doing research. And I'm gonna use that battery to power that LED light strip. My thinking is, and it could be done, I've done some research, did a little bit of checking around, did some snooping, snooping. And you can actually wire a 120 volt AC light switch to work with DC. It just has to be wired correctly. And I've done a bunch of research on it. I've seen it work and that's what I'm gonna do. May get some, may get some flack from the true solar folks, but you know what? I'm just gonna roll with what I have. And if it works, it's just gonna work. In the next couple of days, I am gonna study on how to get the solar panel up on that feed shed up in the air pointed to the south or maybe the southeast and I already have the battery. I uh, just have a few more things that I have to get and we're gonna rock on like that. Okay, Dan, was this stuff expensive? No, not really. Found this Renogy 30 watt kit on Amazon for, I wanna say 65 bucks. The LED light strip, I believe I paid, I think nine bucks for it. So total, 69 bucks, I don't know, 70 bucks, something like that for the 30 watt kit and the LEDs. Already had the battery on hand. Only thing that I'm liking is a switch. So I'm gonna get me a switch. Once I get set up to actually get all this stuff installed on that feed shed, I'm gonna take y'all along with me. So Dan, why are you exhausting so much effort into getting that feed shed light, uh, lit up. Because I don't know, I just gotta do it. 
the first solar kit, I was kind of hoping like, yeah, it's going to work. And then it didn't. So I was like, mm. so from that point on, I was on a mission. I'm going to put some lights in that feed shed. So that's what we fixing to do. Hey, it's free energy from the sun. So why not uh, utilize it if you can? So I want to do this little unboxing for you just to show you what I done did and what I got. And when we get ready to roll with it, you and I and y'all, we're going to roll with it. We're going to get it installed. So quick video, y'all. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. The thumbs up helped me. If you haven't subscribed to the Homeless Six channel, y'all don't need to show enough. Come over here and give me a look now because I'm always doing stuff. Really. And with that being said, you know what's coming. Old Dan's always going to say it. Don't let nobody dull you shine. And I mean nobody, especially when you're trying to get some solar stuff hooked up in your feed shed so you can get your shine on up in there. And we'll see you and y'all in the next video.